setting up a fall fairy garden and a little Halloween display at Norbridge Senior Center. Sharon from Sherry's Fairies and I'd like to welcome you all to my channel and if you're new here I'd like to say a big hello and to my regular subscribers I'd like to send out a big YouTube hug. So I'm here at the Norbridge Senior Center and I'm going to set up the Fall Fairy Garden. Okay first we're going to dismantle all of this and I need some place to put it. This guy coming through the door just a whistling away was so pleasant to my ears, it made me smile. Norbridge is a very, very busy senior center. They have lots of activities and lots of programs for people to come and learn all kinds of things. And they have a wonderful cafeteria that serves great meals all week long, well, through the week. The center is not open on Saturday and Sunday, but all week long it provides us with all kinds of entertainment. Hello, hello. And as I'm doing my decorating, there will be lots of people coming in and out and stopping to talk. And it's really kind of pleasant to have a little visit with people and hear what they think about the fairy gardens. And most people seem to really enjoy them, which makes me a happy camper. <laughs> Okay, we got supplies up. Okay, now I'm ready to sort through and get placing things where they belong. And I think it's going to turn out pretty cute. I have a few things that I'm going to put up besides the fairy garden and the little gnome yard. What I'm doing right now is I'm placing some fall decor tea towels that I bought last year and I use them in my kitchen and I think they're very very pretty and I will show you a closer look at them later in the video. So I'm just going to lay one across the back I think that looks nice and I'm going to just place some stuff there for, for now. As you can see, don't know about you, but I think my brain is, can see smoke coming out my ears because <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, how am I doing this? Because I don't really plan it beforehand. I just do it when I get there. So that tea towel is going to go downwards. So we've put the tea towels in the shape of a T, <laughs> which is kind of funny when you think of it. But anyhow, I think it gives, it shows the tea towels the most when we lay them this way. 
and then we can just set things up on them. And I think I've finally got my base done. And now I've got the gnome garden placed. And I'm putting some pumpkins around. And I have the little fairy ghost garden in front of the tin lantern. And I think that looks nice. So I put the little truck in behind the gnome garden. And now I'm just taking the price tag off of some of the fall leaves that I got at the dollar store. They weren't a dollar though, they were three fifty a stem. So a little more money than I like to pay, but I can use them for years to come, and I'm sure I will. So I'm just putting them in that nice tin lantern, and the lantern came from my daughter's house. She's not using it. So, I may as well. Okay, I've got a few more little accessories that I brought with me, and I'm going to set them around on the table. They're picks that I've had for years, and some of them are fall leaves, and I'm just tucking them underneath the gnome garden around the pot to kind of cover up that plastic pot that they're in. And it just makes it look a little nicer and a little more festive for the season. So I put quite a few little leaves around there. And I decided that the little truck at the back wasn't quite high enough. So I had a piece of bark that has a little and I used the bark like a little riser, and it stood the truck up nice. I think it looks better. You can see it much better. So now I'm just going to put some more leaves around that pan, and now I'm putting a couple of stems around our little jack-o'-lantern ghost fairy garden for Halloween. And I'm getting there. I'm almost done. Just have a few more little picks and stuff that I'm going to place around. And I always, always really enjoy doing the fairy gardens for the Norbridge Senior Center. Thanks. Okay, that was certainly easy to set up. Had that planned out pretty good. So, this is the table from the front. The tablecloth is a sheet that I've used many times. And I have two fall tea towels that I used last year in my kitchen and I think they look pretty and towards the back we put a couple of pumpkins and a cute little truck with some pumpkins in it that says be thankful I think that's kind of cute hello Hi. How are you? Good. And Great. Pretty, eh? That's Thank nice. you. That's my fall and Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> It'll do till Christmas now. Oh, I can't believe where the year went. I know. It goes so, so, so fast, eh? There we go. Yeah. Have you called the decorator? I I do this table. That's it. Somebody else does the whole hall. <laughs> Hello. 
And we have our little Halloween display right up front here with our cute little girls looking at the jack-o'-lanterns and the big fairy taking care of the jack-o'-lanterns. And behind it we have a really nice metal lantern with some beautiful fall leaves. And we have the gnome fairy garden over here. I put leaves around the outside to decorate it up. Hey! And I think it looks I think it looks very festive. I have one more thing of leaves. Okay, I stuck three picks of of leaves in a black lantern. The black lantern it came from my daughter's house. It's metal. It's very nice. Makes a nice pot for our fall leaves. And there's the table all set up for fall and Halloween. Well, that was fun setting up the fall fairy garden and gnome garden people enjoy it. I'm sure they will. And thank you again for watching my video. And if you've lasted till the very end, thank you, thank you very much. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this content, give me that big thumbs up. And say hello. I always like to say hello to anyone who's visiting my channel. Okay, we'll see you in my next video, which will be Sunday Home Reset with some more fall decor. Bye!